Hello and welcome to showmeacademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to split panes in Microsoft Excel 2007. Uh, the reason that you'd want to do this is because sometimes you might be working with very large spreadsheets. They might extend over dozens of columns moving over to the right, and they might go over thousands of rows moving down below the screen. And in order for you to try to compare information that's in different parts of that spreadsheet, it can become very unwieldy as the size of that spreadsheet starts to grow. Now, one way that you can try to tackle that is you can open the same spreadsheet in multiple Microsoft Excel windows and then try to size them differently on your screen so that you can see one window next to another window, etc. But that can become very time consuming and laborious and it's certainly not what you what the users of your spreadsheet probably want to do in order to properly consume the data so a quicker way around that problem is to split the panes let me show you here what I'm talking about I'm going to uh, select a cell here and I've, I had already previously selected the view tab normally you'd start off on the home tab of course but you need to go over to the view tab and on the View tab, there's this section here for Window. And specifically under Window, you have this button here, which is the Split button. So what you're going to do is once you've selected a cell, any cell, you're just going to click Split. And once you do that, notice it puts these lines here in a, in a cross formation right, from, uh, right above the cell I selected and right just to the left of the cell that I selected. And basically what I did is I've created for visual purposes four separate versions, four separate copies of the exact same spreadsheet that can be scrolled across independently. Notice that to the, to the left and right of this line I have two different scroll bars across the bottom. And above and below this line right here I have two different scroll bars on the right. So for example, I can take this and I can scroll down to the bottom and we can see the San Francisco 49ers. Now over here on the lower section, I can scroll down as well. Notice I can also see the San Francisco 49ers because we have multiple copies of the same spreadsheet being shown here in different panes. Of course, I might scroll to the top with this one so I can see the Patriots, and I might be at the bottom here so I can see the 49ers. You can do this horizontally as well because we split it in all four directions. So here, I can scroll this all the way over to the right. Of course, this one here, I can scroll all the way over to the left. Now you can see we have the left edge of the spreadsheets here, but we have the right edge of the spreadsheets here. You can do this either way that you want. So this allows you, if you have a very large spreadsheet that happens to go across dozens of uh, or even hundreds of columns or rows, you can split it and manage to navigate independently to different pieces of the spreadsheet in one screen. Now, once you have that split there, if you want to remove it, you don't have you can be selected anywhere you want. But notice that there's this split button up here stays activated. Basically, it's still pushed. And as soon as you push that button again, it removes the split. And now we're back to having one simple spreadsheet. So if I select here and click split it splits it in four directions from that selection and if I click this button again it removes the split now you don't always have to have the split going in all four directions at one time if you want to split it horizontally so that uh, or in the middle of the horizontal plane you can select any particular column like this and then click split and now notice that it just creates one split directly to the left of the column that we selected. So again, it's the exact same spreadsheet. There's no difference. Now you can see that I have basically two copies of it here that I can scroll through. If I want to remove that split, I just go up here, click on this button, and it removes it. I can also split it along the vertical plane, plane as well. If I select a row and click on the split button, now I again have basically two copies of the spreadsheet. The one up here that I can scroll up and down with, and the one down here that I can scroll up and down with. Notice, even though I can scroll up and down independently through both of these spreadsheets, when I scroll horizontally, they both move in tandem. And if I want to remove, remove that split, I go up here and again click the split button, and it takes it off. 
That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for using showmeacademy.com.